What I requested was replacing of the replacing of the flooring in the majority of the building. A couple of years ago, they had done a couple of years ago they had done a project where many of the offices, many of the offices, and the section of hallway leading to the dining room and the dining room was all replaced with nature's path, nature's path, nature's path wood flooring, laminate flooring, laminate flooring. But the rest of the hallways, the rest of the hallways, and were left with patient were left with the older linoleum, which is I think from the original, I think from the original building. Um, so I, um, the so I basically the project basically just with that continues path with that flooring, nature's path with flooring the throughout the rest of the building to make it all look uniform. Uh, uh, it does, uh, it does, um, it does also, um, also it's a lot less labor intensive. It's a lot less labor intensive. Uh, the, uh, the, uh, the laminate uh, linoleum, the, uh, linoleum, that now linoleum that's there now has to be stripped, up, wax um, to be kept up, um, which we're going through the project. Which we're going now, through the project uh, now, uh, where at least for the hallways and everything, at least for the hallways and everything is about two thirds of the way done. But people come in on having people come in on off hours to do it in the high traffic areas with the with the wood laminate with the wood laminate. It's just basically warm water, warm water, that's no upkeep other than that. So it's probably saving a lot and probably saving. Us a lot in labor of stuff when it comes to time for stuff when it comes to time for upkeep because really there really is no upkeep. Mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. um, um, any questions? Any questions? No. no. Very familiar with these products. Very familiar the with right these thing. products. The right thing. Uh, I guess the only thing I would suggest, uh, I guess the only thing I would suggest here is uh, people are not aware that they're warm, but it would be Hubble. Just what we're Hubble. Just what we're Brett. You'll be back. Obviously, every year with some every year with some requests. Sure. Sure. But with respect to the net effect on operating budget, um, if you can, if you uh, can, for, uh, for things like these, these for things like these, these had, the only questions I had were what were the cost savings, um, and um, in and the form to in the form uh, to uh, allow us not to have to allow us not to have to bother to ask for the budget, but you can pre-form us by including a negative number, a negative number of personnel, sure. the personnel. Sure. So like cost savings as far as so like cost savings as far as labor. Yeah. Okay. It's the mild, minor thing, but, mild, thing, mild thing, but I'm just pointing out the usefulness of the plan. Yeah. When you're in here, you know, when you're in here, multiple requests, multiple requests, multiple requests you're answering questions, you're answering questions. But sure. Yeah, that sure. That sure. That okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Great. Um, so, okay. Great. Uh, so, with respect to uh, with respect to out years, do you uh, do you uh, I was hoping I was hoping Ruby might be here to Ruby give us might some, be here to give us some help shape discussion help shape discussion on this, this question of the question our Allen home our Allen home and uh, so as a capital so as a capital item we have item. A question of a new question of a new island. And the other question we have, the other question we have in the interim is, in the interim is, what is the maintenance? What is the maintenance looking like? And for how long? And for how long? Again, 
and reduce yeah, back again. So I'm not sure, so Brett, I'm not you sure can Brett, you can speak to any of that at this point. Well, I can, I can probably, well, I can, I can probably what I know, I mean, what I know, I mean, recently, like over recently, the last two like months, or, the last so, two months or so, we've opened again. up the work group again um, to explore, to explore the options of our island, the options of our island, whether, you know, looking at, or, you know, looking at the current site, and since we've kind of gotten over in my time, prior to my time, if that's where it's going to be, if that's where it's going to be, look at the different options. We've actually and hired a company, hired that's, a company probably, that's probably the person who could the tell us, who not, could just tell us not just in the state of Massachusetts, but nationwide, but nationwide what, other what other capital construction capital stuff, construction are, looking like, and stuff you know, are looking like, you know, demographics of the population. Demographics of the population. Um, so it's, it's um, early so phases it's where, early they, phases have where program, they have a great uh, program, uh, program uh, where computer program where you can plug in all the different scenarios as far as cost for the building, square foot of building, and you know, and then plug in what you know. And then plug in what you assume the square footage is going to be. Uh, different costs, uh, different in costs in relation, they relation to cost they, off they just take the costs off of financials and project them out and, and over that and, and tell you what the cost tell you what the cost is basically going to be. It's called into it. Uh, it's called uh, intuition, uh, software, uh, and, and software. You can see. Then you can see. You can change it around. You can change it around in any way, shape, in real time. So if you were looking at the program, looking at the program and said, well, what if we wanted to do twenty-four thousand square feet? What if we wanted to do that instead? You can actually change the numbers. You can actually change the numbers. And it all so through, you can see all of it, so you can like. see what it looks like. I think at this point, we're I think at, at this point, we're at. at. We've got that piece down. We've got that piece down. We can look at the different scenarios, scenarios, scenarios from a financial perspective. Now the next step is determining, now the next step is determining what the actual physical what building we have to do, given the fact that we're going to try, we're gonna try to do a site on the current so site. We're, we've so actually come we've actually come to the determination that we're going to do a spec sheet and we have to get it out. We have to get it out. Three architects. Three architects. Construction. We're assuming that we're assuming that it's going to be phased construction only because the footprint of the footprint of the plot lines and everything. Thing. Plot lines and everything. I don't believe gives us. Enough I don't believe gives us enough room to do whole new building on the site. Whole new building on the site, and then we're going to be a, over. So it's going to be a section. Construct a section. Then that section. Then move the that section. Then renovate another section. Section. Construct another section. The three construction. The three construction architects. The three architects. Clifton Larson Allen. Allen. The company that do contracted with to do this intuition. Piece. Uh, the three people he gave us. The three people he gave us are all, all the, across the country, and across the country, and in Massachusetts have been with it. Is very phased with building projects, phased building homes. projects in nursing homes. Uh, so, uh, so and we haven't got that. Out it, we haven't yet. got that out to actually, them yet. I think actually, the, the, I think the, the, the spec sheet has been drawn. The spec sheet has been drawn up, and we're waiting final. So then they can send it off. So then they can send it off and give bids on what we're looking at. Because the next piece is we have. Because the next piece is we have to know what the building's going to whether it's going to be single, whether it's going to be single two level, two level, whether it's going to be whether it's going to be able to be done construction or new construction. I mean, because we're in a unique, I mean, we're in a unique situation. Landmark houses in front. Landmark houses in front of us had come up. The option previous talks about previous talks about actually moving landmark houses. Actually moving landmark houses up because there's ample space. Because there's ample space. And that would give us bigger. And that would give us bigger room to build. Potentially one building, building without one building, building without having to do a phase building. So aspect. there's a lot of different options. So there's a lot of different options there that we have to work through. It's really, I mean, it's really, I mean, I don't think we have a handle on time frames or anything. Time frames or anything. It's still in its fairly early data phases gathering and data mm -hmm. gathering and figuring mm -hmm. out what the next steps are. So, so, yep. Yep. done. Check, 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 check. Somebody say something, Terry. Somebody say something, okay. Terry. Yeah. Okay. Can't, can't, can't hear. I oh, can't hear. So, um, so I have a whole um, bunch of questions. I have a whole bunch of questions, but I'm going to do you guys have any questions? Do you guys have any questions on what Brett presented at this point or comments? Is there anyone on this board? Is there anyone on this board that's, that's on the work group? Okay. 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 Richard is too. Okay. Is he? Yeah. 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 Is he? Yeah. Is he? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if Peter is waiting. I don't know if Peter waiting. Do you have anything? You're waiting. Because they know you. Where the work group is? They know you just started meeting. One, yeah, one meeting, maybe? You're in? One, one yes. meeting, maybe? You're in? Yep. All right. so can, no, I right. so can I ask a question? Can I ask a question? Maybe, question. maybe with help. Uh, how we uh, in a we reset. In a reset right now. Right now. Just, just like nothing's full, ever happened. Just like nothing's ever happened. Sherbin sure Commons and the whole vote against, 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 against it. Just starting over. With that, with the information, with that, with the information that we've got, though, 
prior being used prior now being used mm -hmm. now to sort of start mm -hmm. over. I to sort of start over. Completely. I wouldn't mean to say you know completely. completely. When he brings, you know what I mean? Because when he brings, brings in consultants, brings up consultants, first thing I think, first thing I think of is like find out. Didn't some we like find out already. some of yeah. this? Yeah. Yeah. Clifton Larson, Clifton Larson, Allen. We sent them all. We sent them all the back data that we had done. Well, that you had been done prior to my time. In respect to that, in respect to that, they did use a lot of that. You know, in their initial presentation, they put forth some of like the building projection current site yeah, on the current some site, of which were options. some of the different options. Um, but again, um, but again, I think where it's at. I mean, I think where it's at is you know who were these people? I think the questions you know, that are coming. I think the questions that are we coming up or, or we anticipate coming up is you know what size? Given the demographics, yeah, given the demographics of the population, the size is going to determine how we build. How we build? You know what we build? So that's so that's where Clifton Lash and Allen they come in handy. They do this all the time. They do this all the time with 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 builds. But then it's a matter of but then it's a matter of from an architectural standpoint, what square footage what square footage do we have to work with and without you know going without through things so you know, yeah, going kind, through I things. guess so yeah kind, I guess in a roundabout <clears throat> manner in a roundabout yeah, manner we're kind of yeah we're like kind of at almost like a redo uh, scenario uh, using scenario some data, using some now, of the data but we now for the longest time I mean, for the longest time it was the last time that came up the last time that came up Sherman Common area was, Sherman Common was, area was, was, was yeah I think we've gotten yeah. past that I think we've gotten yeah. past that now so now would be just okay it's going to be on now this this now this this section is we've we've gone back to the drawing board trying to get our trying to get our hands around you know, the, all the potentials you know, there all the potentials there yeah, yeah I, I would, yeah, I, would yeah, I, I would I would agree well, I've just said that I've just said it's a redo but it's has a redo but it has a lot of guidance where we physical start plant, with the physical yeah. existing yeah. Start, yeah. With that property. start with that property and, and we haven't spoken we haven't at least at the first meeting at least at the first meeting about anything, meeting else, about anything right. else but that right. property that right. property. I mean, in, right. I mean, basically, in, where we started. Basically, with where we started with Clifton Larson Allen, Allen with the what if scenario. The what if I mean, scenario. I, I mean, there was a laundry list of them. I mean, we, we, I mean, we, we incorporated the we what incorporated ifs of, the what ifs of basic, similar basic, bed size. Similar bed did size. We at, did we want to look at creating more space? Creating more space where we could have like outpatient therapy, which we add revenue, potentially add revenue, home health. Agency, home health things agency, like that um, things like that to be that, more of a service, um, to, to, the of a service to the community even i think one of the even, things that came up one of the things that came up was like, even uh, building like um some sort of housing some sort of housing yes. staff housing yeah. on, on staff the housing also. on on the site yeah. also yeah. all those um, things so would all those things would then be part of the architectural <clears throat> architectural if we want to do this if we want to do this we have to have that or on space for that also so you know so um there's a lot of what is there's a lot of what is scenarios at this point at this point the architects and the architects and the team can guess, and can guess data, but we have data, to figure out, we have to know, figure out you know what ultimately what one we want to go to what one we want to go to know, because you know, know because with all the different with all the different, with all the different like scenarios, scenarios there's a huge range of variable. I think we start we're starting I think we start we're starting, think we start, we're starting, position, we're starting, we're starting in a better position just having bread at this hand or tiller this hand or tiller I already you know, figured it out. So, yeah, that's, so that, that's, that's, that, that's, that's key. key. You've figured, you've figured, out, you've figured out the place Just already. Listening to him. Just by listening to him. How long yeah. have you been here now? How long yeah. have you been here now? Since March. Yeah. Since March. But I mean, so I've been doing this for 20 years. I've seen constructions. I've been through constructions before. I mean, some of the things have changed. Some of the things have changed. The last time I did a construction, the guy that I with, he stayed. 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 He and they can um, even factor. And they in can on. even factor in. They can change the different. Staff they can change patterns. the different staffing patterns. They initially started. They initially with the started with the staffing patterns. Well, they plugged well, in the staffing. They plugged in the staffing patterns. Which we already factored. Which we already
want to do this, we want to move this, they can change that number and it'll change every time. We'll see and then you want to change this, that will affect it. Too. It's, it's a, a really it's, it's nice, a, a really nice model, driven, but everything is manually driven. They can take, if they wanted they can, to plug in, if they wanted to plug in data from the state, data from the state, they can if they wanted to plug in our actual data. And will that include and will that include um, other service provisions, other, other service services provisions, other provide, services you all provide uh, that are not on that the site, are not so for on the site? The, so, for instance, um, the um, home, is it, home just, is it, I'm just throwing just, something out. I'm there. just throwing uh, something out there. Uh, home based care, where home based care, have, where you uh, all have. Uh, you clearly have you clearly qualified have personnel. Qualified mm -hmm. personnel. Um, you're, mm -hmm. you're trying to develop the feeder program, so you can bring people from the staffing position. In terms of qualification, lower level staff. But they can't all do. But they can't all do. They may not have full qualification. They may not have full time, right. full -time, but they, full -time but they, work. Have but full -time if there were a revenue source, there were a revenue source, which were a home base revenue source, and we're in, and we're in deciding where we decide the town is in the business that you have a you have a garage, a couple of garage bays with. The van and you providing, providing some type of providing some type of service service where the industry is really where the industry is really going, going, going more, more on if they don't need right, medical right. care uh, right right um, that just is a very that just is a ge very general comment. comment as a type of service as a I'm, sure there's a word I'm sure there's I'm a word for it I'm not using the right word is that type is that type of revenue and the cost associated with it something that can be input into tuition yeah they can they can they yeah they can they can they can add lines great stuff like that great stuff like that if if the plan was to do additional square footage additional square footage to house that building to house that I mean we could do an adult day health center adult day health probably more of a social probably more of a social model because the medical model and it would carry all your and it would carry all your yeah 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 and we should plug in all the variables up to that I mean you know for each section if they were going to do that they'd plug in you know a revenue line, what a we revenue line, what we anticipate the revenue would be, we can plug in the staff that, models to suit that, and, and, and it would all be factored. And then with respect to the staff, with respect to the staff does housing, does it get to the granularity, to the granularity level, level of being, being, being able to program in what, uh, what pay uh, level Pay level personnel would be staying in there, would be and staying in there, and you could you, run you could. You, no. you could. You could. Uh, the problem is, is I think that was thrown out as though that was thrown out as a scenario. We haven't even got to that point. I mean, there's a whole because of the union involvement. Because of the union involvement, there's a whole other problem with that. If so, that if so, that if so, I mean, it's it's I mean, it's unique in that sense because a lot of the other private sector companies that they can provide housing, they can provide housing, and it's not that big a problem with the union. It gets to be, you know, it gets to be, you know, if we. I mean, I could see. It I mean, I could see it going something like this. Something you know, like this. What's our, if, what's our biggest problem with attractive biggest problems with attractive mm -hmm. nurses? Nurse, a hospital. Mm -hmm. Just like the hospital, we're not having problems getting not having problems age, getting nurses, age, age, or staff, other ancillary staff. We have people to apply. So, we so would have to then go to we would have to then go to the union and try to work out a detail here if we're going to be able to provide get around them. How do we get around back to us and coming back to us and saying you're provided for them? You're provided for them. You have to provide it for all the members of the union. Sure. Sure. I, so I, that's helpful information. I, I, that's I helpful information. I guess broader, broader, but it's a little broader than I was just going to be curious to the extent, to the extent uh, how specific uh, and how specific and targeted uh, for the purposes uh, of the, purposes of the, of the model. It sounds like it's very. It sounds like very. Oh, accurate. absolutely. Very. Accurate. Oh, absolutely. The reason I asked. The reason I asked is that I think that's. I think that's an important tool in in determining your cost. Determining your cost. We'll be here with respect. We'll be here with respect to capital. Part of what we're looking at. Part of what we're looking at with respect to capital is the ongoing. Costs um, um, with personnel and so with on personnel and so, and so, and so, and so forth, and bring that's why I did bring up the concept, of, the concept of another revenue source. Another revenue I'm not, source, and I'm right. not, I'm not supporting. I'm not supporting. You know, to be supporting you know, anything. To be supporting in anything. Case, in any, in any I'm, case, case, I'm not supporting a particular. I'm not supporting a particular model, revenue model. But I brought it up yep. because. But I brought it up because there's a. I want to understand. I want to understand. Um, from you, um, and perhaps from you, and perhaps this is a term discussion. Longer, term discussion. What are driving the what are driving the scenarios that you're reviewing? Are they revenue based? Are they, are they, based? Based? Are they, are they based on demographics, based on demographics of, of the people we need to service over time? And we understand that we're going to be understand that we're going to be subsidized model. We're going to carry that forward in the near to the near term, midterm, or long term, or are we saying? 
perhaps we want to perhaps we want our goal and our mission our goal and our mission in this review is to come up with a model that makes nursing home care on nursing home care on self sustaining self sustaining within a within a or a three or a five or a seven or I would like and I'm not I would like and I'm not suggesting you need to I would like now but I would like to understand what is driving the decision making process determining which determining which models to run and determining and then determining which model will be which will be which options will be the ones that are brought forth supported by the work supported by the work then be brought to then be brought forth through the process for approval because it's an important because it's an important distinction where we're going is where we're going is a community in terms of our capital resources I mean I can give you I mean I can give you a like a bird's eye process is thought process is at least my thought process is being new to the island being new to the island I knew coming in. I knew coming in that the facility was running at a considerable deficit every year. So initially, my so thought, initially is, you know, what my thought is, is, you know, what can I do to, to enhance get that? To, to lower to that get number? To, to do lower I that number? Do I anticipate that if we just continue, if we just continue with the model we're running now, would it be self-sustaining, meaning it would run in the black without any town without any town subsidy or anything like that? Probably not only probably not only because nursing homes typically nursing homes not running even profit margin even a dollar. Are driven by are driven term by rehab, short term which rehab, rehab, which is your high sources and pay sure. sources because and cottage hospital because and cottage hospital and the population in Kentucky is small. You just don't of get that flow of referrals for that type of patient for that type of patient to support a high to support a high profit. But if you were losing three million, if you were losing three million, can I, can I get down to the nails of it? Get down to the nails of it and cost more and maybe cost more and maybe do things from a revenue perspective that could. Considerably shrink that considerably loss. Shrink that loss. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Now, mm -hmm. other things. Now, so, other so things. My so, view so is. My view is. We want to keep people on the. We island. want to keep. We don't want people. Island. We don't want people the island for leaving care the island for care, care that we provide or should provide. provide or should provide. So where the revenue so models, where the revenue like models for like home health, health or adult health day health or increasing the skill set increasing the skill set of our nurses to be able to do more from a skill. From a skill perspective, nursing would perspective all be, would all be things on the island and people on the island that may have to go to the mainland for the care. offshoot of that is the offshoot of that is all those things are going to generate more revenue, are going to generate more revenue in terms of will close that gap. Because mm -hmm. yeah. any, yeah. any model like that, any model like that, whether you're going to do more from a nursing perspective, one of the things that I was one of the things that I was I was able to accomplish already is our nurses are now IV certified. Just since I've been here, just since I've been here, two or three people have had to go off islands or stay in the or stay in the swing beds at the hospital. Do that. Now that we can do that, they'd prefer to go to us instead of leave the island, instead of leave the island, or maybe stay in the hospital. Um, um, but again, that's going to enhance. But again, that's going to enhance our medical population, population or short term maybe even long term. Or maybe even long term. Have to go off. We have to go off for the IVs after they come back. Come back after they're done. Um, the um, home health population. The home health you know, population. You know, there's, there's definitely a need. On there's the definitely island. a need on the island uh, because uh, you know, because you know, for some of the islanders, for some of the islanders, they would prefer to keep their loved ones at home with assistance as opposed to go to the nursing home. There may come a time. There may come a time that they get to a point where that they get to a point where they have to go to the nursing home. But another way that we another way that we could it, it kind of fulfills it, it everything. kind of it's fulfills keeping everything people it's on the island, keeping the people on the island it's being more of a service being more of a service to the community generates more revenue generates and more revenue a and it is a feeder source we have a home health agency we're taking, care, agency of the we're taking care of the people in the home when they get to the home when they get to that it's point, an easier transition it's an easier transition um, to the nursing um, home to the nursing home so you know those are all so all the factors all, that you question, all the factors that you're all question, factors and they're all factors and then the other question and then the other question i have, thank, the you, the question I have. thank you that's helpful. very helpful information i think it's helpful information for the community you you know, got here in you march but got here in march but i'm sure you're aware of some of the history involved trying to trying to update upgrade and in some instances and in some instances the relocate work to relocate the facility and it hasn't been an easy it hasn't been an easy discussion for the community and at times it's been very emotional. Um, um, and sometimes I think there sometimes was a certain, there was a lack, certain humility, of lack of civility. And you know, and I'm looking. You know, I'm from looking the capital from, standpoint, from the capital standpoint. We're making a recommendation. We're capital. making a recommendation. We make a recommendation. We make a recommendation on all things that relate to it, though, too, with respect to the staffing and the staffing and how the numbers, and numbers look, look going so forward. forward. Having said all so that, having guess, said all that, I guess. My concern, it's my concern, really concern, it's not really a concern. Um, I guess the, I the guess approach the, that you're taking, the approach that you're taking, which is more of a, a policy, just approach. That there, 
has a that, has the, have has the, the select board has the, have the select board have they vocalized that have they vocalized these that are the mission, this these are the mission this is the goal of the work group of the work group i'm sure there's a mission sure there's statement, a, or, a mission statement i'm just wondering if i'm just if wondering if what we're if this part of what we're talking, about, talking about has been <clears throat> put to paper somewhere put to or, paper somewhere or, not just transparency not just transparency but just general community consumption understanding there's an understanding of things that you all these things that you've talked about really important to be really important to be involved in part involved in part of the seed see making decisions of making and decisions and directing uh, options uh, and uh, options uh, and uh, alternate uh, approaches and alternate approaches that ultimately that come down to ultimately come down to a recommendation or a couple of recommendations and i'm just wondering and i'm just wondering is that is that is that is that, is that mission documented somewhere is documented group, somewhere as part of the not, group I would, not, suggest I would just suggest what we have a select board member here, and history, and again, knowing that the history, there would be a brief discussion, there would be a brief discussion at a policy level, level to formalize it, kind of formalize so that, it, so that you know we're looking at this as you know we're looking at this as an FY twenty five brief. So we're getting kind of so we're getting kind of ahead of it in a sense, um, in an open um, way, in an open way with the community to get the information out. Um, so I think that's important. And so I, I think that's that important. And I mentioned that in great detail because I think it's an important issue. For I think the it's an important issue for the community. But I will disclose I was, a, I member disclose I was a member of the select board in 2017. In 2017. And, and my concern, my concern, a financial, was a financial, wearing a financial, wearing a financial guy hat. Was, was how are we going to how are we pay going to pay for the service so that we can maintain the service so that we can maintain the service of the nursing service to the nursing home is a service to the community for a number of years for a number of years um, um so that i just wanted to mention so that i just wanted to mention that and then i was i guess i was just kind of curious um, who, who is um, the, what is who, the who is the what is the membership of the work group i know we have two members i know we have two members. uh yeah uh yeah denise cronow was denise cronow was on it and um yeah fincom yeah fincom uh, Don. Yeah, Don. Oh, yeah, Don. Yeah, Don. Oh, board yeah, also. Don from the select board. And also. Rita. And Rita. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah. Right. Um, uh, myself. Uh, Kevin myself. Comic Kevin Comic from, from Sherman Commons. Um, um, See who else will obviously? See who else will obviously? Town, town of Demonstration. Town, town, town of Demonstration. Rachel from Rachel, Rachel Day from Human Rachel Services. Day from Human Services. Uh, I'm trying to think. Uh, I'm trying to think going around the table. Who else is on it? Uh, I think that's, that's about it. Yeah. I think that's, that's about it. Okay, that's great. No, that's helpful. Okay, that's great. Uh, no, that's helpful. Uh, for my own advocation. For my own advocation. Primarily. Uh, primarily. But I was uh, curious. But I was curious. And Dawn was a member of the 2017. Yeah, and she's already brought up. Yeah, and she's already brought up, you know, good what ifs and, hey, we did this before. I mean, I feel almost I mean, I feel almost at a disadvantage because I wasn't here. So, I mean, though I hear. So, I mean, though I hear. Bits and pieces about. The bigger process. The bigger process. I don't know all the people. People that work here, some of the people that work here, like yourself and Dawn, and they have a little bit more. They have a little bit more insight to the conversations. Well, the work group provides a good. the work group provides a good team environment to kind of get that information out. So that's probably the other reason. The other reason I was kind of, you know, obviously curious. There was some curious. There was some discussion. I'm going to segue away from that unless anyone has any comments. Uh, there was quite a bit of discussion. There was quite a bit of discussion with the, with the, the next work group. I think, next it, was group, I think group, it was the 2018 work group. After the article did not pass, the article did not pass a town meeting. Uh, uh, and it's very in its, its very and its iterations. various iterations. And that was and, and I that think was that they and, focused I think on, that they focused on at least, just, at least a good extent on to good extent capital on maintenance capital upkeep. maintenance mm -hmm. upkeep. And mm -hmm. I bring that up and because I don't bring that up because I don't see any capital out your request. Which I think we would hope would taper I think we would hope would taper off. Maybe maybe FY twenty three, FY twenty four, FY twenty three, FY twenty four. Unless there were unless there uh, were uh, repairs or repairs other, or other installation or equipment installation or equipment, or equipment that were required. Keep your certification. Keep your certification. But there was a lot of discussion that the bear with me. There was a the, lot of bear with me. There was these, a lot of discussion these, that these projects. These projects there were certain requirements, certain requirements that had to be undertaken, had to be in, undertaken order to in order to maintain our certification. I take that at face value. I take I that at face value. That. I don't I just would like to know. I just would like to know, and I'm not suggesting you need to tell us today. And I'm not suggesting you need to tell us today. But I think it's important that we have. I those think it's important that we have those those numbers, projects. Those projects in. in um, number one, so that number one, are so that if there are requirements for capital expenditures, for capital to, maintain expenditures to maintain certifications, and, services, and services, that they're provided for, that they're provided and two, for, and number so two, that we know that we're so that we know that we're still on the path to, uh, to planning, uh, planning, uh, uh, 
to maintain that fixed asset, to maintain that fixed asset, if it is, asset, not, actually if it is not actually replaced, or, or, or if, 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 if it gets voted if, down if, again, if it gets voted right. down again, um, right. what's the plan um, in place? What's the plan in place so for maintaining? I guess I'm so just saying we need. I guess I'm just saying we need to out your information. Please don't, don't lose sight of that. Just here know, you just got here so in March, March suggesting yeah. so anything other suggesting than, anything other than, 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 than what I'm saying. I mean, I can tell you that. I mean, I can tell you that a lot of the issues from 2016, 2017, were critical. Issues were critical that needed issues most that needed of them addressing. Had been most of them had been addressed. Uh, we're still, uh, we're we're have still, more we phase. still have we one more phase. We had a, a renovation phase done phase yeah, done early part of this year. Early part of this year, uh, they got finished the start of July. The start of July, they renovated some of the renovated some of the patient rooms and bath showers and down the end showering down the end of East Wing. Two of that phase two of that process we have in the process we haven't put out the bid yet. We'll do the West Wing. We'll do the West Wing shower room and the nourishment kitchen. The nourishment kitchen. Included uh, repair and or uh, repair and or replacement of windows and, um, and uh, the cedar uh, siding, the cedar siding building. on the so building. That's, that's the last. So phase that's of that's that. the last uh, phase of that. Do we, uh, which you know we've kind of broken out. You know we've kind of broken out. We just have to start the, the, the bidding process to get to get votes. So at this point you don't. So at this point you don't. At this point you don't anticipate. At this point you don't anticipate out here mission critical type capital twenty one twenty two. I mean anything. I mean anything right now. Of right now, I think, we're not I think that most of the stuff that was, was I mean, critical. It's more, I mean, it's more they, at this point with the age of the building, the building getting older, it's more from an age perspective. From an age perspective. Um, but um, you know, I mean, but, doing a lot you know, of I mean, stuff doing a lot of the stuff that's already been caught up on that, kind of caught up on that, so there wasn't any mission critical. But it's going to be in the but it's going to be in the adventure year to year as the building gets older, as the building gets older, as the building gets older. So yeah. I mean, at some point you have to look. I mean, at, at some point you have to look at how much are we paying for the keep and maintenance. If keep and maintenance. If you then amortize that, you know that it's probably only going to get more over the years. Does it then make sense to start? Does it then make sense to start, from from sense to start from 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 a bill's perspective? For yeah. You'll have building. minimal issues. Yeah. You'll have yeah. minimal issues for the next thirty or forty years. And there's going to be a trade-off there. There's going to be a trade-off there. I think if you if you age that out, if you age that out time frame over that time frame, you're going to end up spending more to keep renovating the current building and keep it up. Right, and more so as you right, and more so as you consider potential. Services that potential services that could be offered to offset increase revenue or increase revenue and offset correct su decrease the correct. subsidy decrease the subsidy and also the other also categories, the other categories, categories the category, quality the category of quality of life for the residents I mean, the the residents. Residents. I mean there's a <coughs> of variables you guys as a work group you guys as a work group I mean hey listen the, the I mean hey listen the buildings, buildings the buildings, buildings get up there in age I mean it's presentable but you can presentable but you can tell it's not you know, we do we do the best we do we do the best from our from our from our from our renovation standpoint cosmetics standpoint to keep it up no repairing things like that repairing things like that over time no over time Jason this is years ago this is before years ago the last before the last iteration meeting but I was of town meeting but I was of the on the side of why put on the side of why put money into it if we're going to rebuild then I took a tour and then I took a tour of it so so I, I don't want to speak for I, other board I don't want to speak for other board members level. On, on the select we're board in, level. We are pushing we're to go forward. We are pushing to go to forward. It up, continue to fix it at up. the same time. Of at the same time of trying to build on the we same don't know site. If it's gonna ever we don't know if that's yeah. ever going to pass. And yeah. We have to and continue to put money into it. We have to continue to put some money into it. Be, and some of it might, might be. Why we do that? Now we're building we do that? Now we're building it might next not year. happen again. But it might not yeah. happen again. So you that, can't bank on it being built. You can't bank on it being built. So you have to be short term. Think about the short term from now, two years from now, three years from now, three years from now. Three years from now. Because even if we get to a point where the construction did, the construction did. You're talking also. You're talking also about phase construction that's going to probably two to three years. Two to three years. I mean, all said and done. I mean, five to ten years. I'm not saying that we need. I'm not saying that we need. Spend ten million dollars fixing it up. Yeah, yeah. Little, little things like yeah. Little, little <laughs> things like flooring, and flooring you know, clean up the bathrooms, sure. you know, clean up the bathrooms, more livable, yeah. more livable. Uh, uh, we're yeah, pushing and, and forward on yeah, pushing and forward on that. Clear, I mean, and just to be clear, I'm just I mean, that's, I'm not I'm just suggest, I'm not suggesting we spend money for oh, never course. gonna find me. Oh, never course. gonna find that's me. That's not my way. That's but not my way. At the same time, I do. Think, I, at the same you know, time, I do I think. Want you know, I want to encourage you. I want to encourage you. If there are our things you believe will be you believe will be reasonable capital requests. Part of our ten year plan. Part of our ten year plan is the capital improvement plan. Is the capital improvement plan is to be forecasting, and we would prefer that you we would prefer that you forecast, and even if it's a 
place and even if it's a placeholder, which is to say it's a dollar, which is to say it's, it's a dollar, list it's an item on our list that we're familiar with. We've had a chance to discuss after you come in with a capital after request you come in with a capital year, request in a future year. We discuss out years and you we discuss out years and you might just give us an update on what it is. And the status may change and it might come off the list, but it gives us an opportunity to be planning an opportunity, hopefully, an opportunity, hopefully, for the to be the community to be understanding what are the potential expenses. What are the potential expenses? Uh, so it's not a surprise. Uh, to so anyone. it's not a surprise to anyone. And I think that that, that benefits and, you. Um, I mean, and, I certainly um, support. I mean, I certainly support uh, the physician uh, Jason just the stated. Physician Jason just stated. We're offering a services. We're a offering a services a community to be able to, be able to provide it in a habitable, in a safe, safe, habitable space. That type of a service. That type of a so service. We can't be putting sure. people. So we can't in, be putting uh, people in uh, in jeopardy or in jeopardy or. I would say substantially. I would say substantially decreasing their comfort, decreasing their comfort uh, level. They're living there. Level. They're living like there. This isn't like coming in for an hour. Coming in for an hour. Things aren't up to a certain standard. Up to a certain standard. It's easier to get by. It's easier to get by. These people are there twenty four seven, three sixty five. Of course. Um, all right. Well, anyways, that's all right. Well, anyways, that's my filibuster. That's my filibuster. Libby's here. So yeah. Any other questions? Any other questions for Brett? Comments. Brad, we really appreciate you coming in. we really appreciate you coming in. Looking and, forward um, to looking uh, forward to uh, having, you, having you getting the getting longer term picture, the longer term picture together, and, what that looks like and seeing what that looks like. Thanks again. Well, thank, thank you for being here. Thank, thank you for being here. Thank you. We appreciate you. Yeah, that's that's pretty awesome actually. Yeah, that's that's pretty awesome actually. Yeah, that's one of the couple different areas that we'll definitely need to Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Okay, so we're gonna pick up okay, so we're gonna pick up um let me just bear with me. Let me we're gonna pick up town ad we're gonna pick up town admin requests and out here and, out here. and that is going to be that is going to be uh, all right, so I'll address that. All right, so I'll address that with Good morning. Good morning. It is odd. It is odd. I feel bad too. I feel bad too. I think you're in Number two, the idea of the table was so that people didn't have to stand on the I know. It's just, I know. It's just interrogation. Interrogation. Every direction. Every direction. We can all sit there. We can all sit there. Yeah, why don't you do that? Yeah, why don't you do that? There may be some utility. There may be some utility. In that. Maybe. No. Maybe. Okay. Maybe. Uh, well, okay. okay. Uh, welcome. Thank you. Okay. you want to start from sorry, the top? You know, sorry, I'm sorry. Sorry, I'm sorry. Let me yeah. just say, let me just that say, with regard, say to the town that admin with regard capital, to the town admin capital, we've been we've been trying to refine that. Trying to and refine it's been a bit difficult and it's with been a bit difficult with other so things. So I'm going from so I'm going from this sheet that's at the very last page of the packet. It's a narrative sheet. And some of these projects, and some of these projects, as you'll see, are more developed than others. And some of them are and some of them are waiting on other information, but they need to move forward. The town pier, the town is the first, item, is the first here. item here. And, uh, and as you may recall, uh, as you may recall, we have we had have a had a couple of appropriations for already pier. for the town pier. And and we actually bid we out, actually for, bid out a renovation for a renovation of the town of here over the, the town summer. Here, over the bids summer, came back higher bids than came back what higher our than what our totaled. appropriations totaled. Mm -hmm. Concurrently, concurrently, we took another look. We took another look at the design for the town here for the town here and decided that decided in that in light of the storms, that, of the we've storms that we've been having and the storms that we are probably likely to have going forward and the other issues with the existing the existing peer components peer components we re re we revisited re the design revisited and the design it, and strengthened it i guess i would say which we which we which which caused us which, which caused us to, to um, have put to out um, a bit. put so this instead out of, a bit so instead of okay let me back up even more okay. let me back up we even were more. hoping we'd have we a, were hoping we'd have a, number a supplemental to to number to go to the special town meeting but, with. But, as i said but, concurrently we as i said concurrently on, we were working on re strengthening the design strengthening so the we design. wouldn't necessarily so we wouldn't necessarily have had a number anyway for the special even if we did but even if we did it turns out we wouldn't have anyway because we didn't have a quorum appropriation because that appropriation 
about the special. Also, we're likely to also need a debt we're likely to need a debt exclusion, and we for didn't us. have that. On and we the didn't have that on the special ta- on the special election that's on coming the up. Election anyway. that's coming up. Anyway. So the idea here. So the idea nutshell, here, that, in a that nutshell, there's a timeline, that there's a timeline out here. But the basic idea out here, but the is basic that the floating, docks, that get the floating removed, docks get removed very soon. They get very repaired. Soon. They, get they get repaired. The they get put back in the spring. Bid specs are designed. Bid specs are developed, designed. They go out. They go out early in 2019. Early in 2019, the bids come back. The bids come by back mid to by end of February, mid to end of February 2019. We have a number. We have a number for the warrant for the warrant to be reviewed. To be probably reviewed, additionally with probably you all, additionally and with, with you all, and with so FinCom. that FinCom can put it so in their FinCom recommendations. So that FinCom can put it in their recommendations. For the 2019 for annual, the 2019 meeting. annual town meeting with a ballot question. With a ballot question. On the 2019 on annual, the 2019 town, annual, election. annual town election. There are some moving parts here. Um, um, based on all of that. Based on all of and that. Getting things out. And getting and things having out. Them reviewed, and having and them reviewed. All that and sort of thing. All that sort right of at thing. the moment. Chuck right Larson, at the moment. Who, Chuck Larson, you know, has who, as you know, has the town. left he's, the town. He's still, he's, he's still, I say left, but he's still doing left, a few projects that he started working projects on. Projects that he started until working until on. Until hopefully, hopefully they're completed. Until hopefully they're or completed. Or until we have somebody to fill the position. So he's been positioned. So he's been working with the engineer on And the select board just and the select board recently signed a contract Recently signed a contract for the design and the bid and the bid development of the bid specs development of the bid specs and at this point you're carrying and at this point you're carrying a number on the plan and it shows a five million dollar number that, million that number. is a um, that, that is, is a um, that is a placeholder okay. number okay. Okay. that's but what we're that's what thinking we're, we're in the ballpark thinking we're the, in the ballpark the, of the for the thing. for the whole thing okay. In, okay. potentially in, including potentially this including this wave attenuator structure Structure. You mean like a break water? You mean like a break water? Like it's kind of like yeah. a break water. Yeah. I, I, you know what? I don't. I, you know what? I don't know. You need one around the whole aisle. You need one around the whole aisle. It could be in the spelling. It could be in the spelling. It's a new word. It's a new word. That's replacing narrative. It's a new word for 2000. It's a new word for 2000. It's an A word. It's an A word. Algorithm. Algorithm. Anyway. So anyway. So it's a bit of a moving thing. So it's a bit of a moving thing. So we don't have a final number right now because. It's an active process. Okay. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure, yeah, I've got, to make sure I've got what my number is on my what paper. My number yep. is on my paper means. Yep. Seasonal okay. housing, seasonal is, also housing is also a little bit, a little bit of a moving number. We would like to we would at like least to get some, at design, least get funds some design funds for seasonal town for employee seasonal housing, town employee at housing at the six fairgrounds site. Six fairground site. We honestly do not. We honestly do not have a project right manager now, for this right now. That's anybody can anybody can take this on. Take this so on. We need to. So we need to get that. But get that. Initially, but the thought initially was the thought was to get a design to get a design in, in place, place, and then in 2021 come back with a better come back number that would be developed between, now, be developed and between now and then for construction. There are also some. There other are also some other. There's some other thinking There's out some there, other thinking about, out there the overall about the six overall fairgrounds six campus, fairgrounds campus, which involves which involves discussion at the affordable trust housing level, trust level, level, the select board level, um, maybe even um, other groups. Maybe even are other groups about are what talking that about whole what area that whole area should ultimately look like with the, with weight drive, with weight drive, and how and the housing, how the housing that road should be that road should be designed and situated. So there's situated. So there's things that are beyond my control a little bit. Other moments groups are talking that other about groups that are talking about this. that might impact um, this. Peter um, and Peter I have communicated and I have about, communicated about the, 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 at least using his at least using his seasonal numbers dorm, for his seasonal recent, dorm, which is pretty recent. As a basis for ours, as a basis for ours, we probably you know, add some amount you know, of a percentage, some amount of a percentage, ours because we have to ours because we have to do things that as a private didn't group. as a private group. But we were hoping but we were that hoping we that actually we said hundred in here. But I think even yesterday when we talked yesterday when we talked about this, we thought. We that probably ought to increase that to more like 300. If we're going to use if we're going to use as design a percentage of as a percentage of potential construction around three million around three million potentially potentially ten percent ten percent design. Let's see, let's see. We're, yeah, that's what we're, we're hoping. Yeah, that's what we're hoping. But it, but this but, it, but this three hundred. Yes. Correct. Yes. Correct. But this um, but this um, this item does need this item does need. Work. Some to work get that to number get that <laughs> number documented. Yes. 
please. Yes. And please. That under all and understood. That under and all understood. Thing, and, and then I the other thing I, I mean, I just want to throw out there. Is I'm just uncomfortable. I'm just uncomfortable with the concept. With I'm, the concept. I'm all for the seasonal housing. I'm all for the seasonal housing. I'm all for we need to move on things that we need to do. The community, the town, the town. Pines Valley has a timeline. Isn't like a private. Isn't like a private enterprise. But with respect but to with respect to facilities, our fixed assets, our fixed assets long term plan, long term plan. I'm just I'm very just uncomfortable. Very I uncomfortable. Up there I know I'm getting up there in the sign meter with that. Like, but the fit, bit. Well, nah, the fit, no, no, nah, no, no, no. We got to make. We got to have a plan of the community. So we're not. When we're talking about spending three million dollars, three million dollars. I'm not using. I don't want to use this as a particular example. We're talking about. We're talking about an area that is an area that is in flux. And we don't have a plan. We don't have a plan for the assets that we have. We have. We have the, um, the um, senior center moving. Senior have, center moving. There's a lot of different. Bring, there's a lot of different. I was going to bring this up when the guy wants, was here, but I didn't want it more. The body is getting into three different. Let me. So let me. The point is just simply that there are a variety of wants and needs. The point is just simply that there are a variety of wants and needs. And I'm just and I'm just stating it. I'm just stating it. I'm uncomfortable that we're we're not we're not we're not addressing the needs. 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 We're not addressing
to relocate Baxter Road, and it's not necessarily and it's not necessarily a full relocation, a full of, the relocation of the road, road right as it's laid out right now. In, in fact, it in, won't in be fact, that it won't because the be road, that. Because road as the road it's laid out road now, as it's laid out now can't really be relocated, be relocated like behind the houses like behind the houses that are on the west side of Baxter Road. There are too many other there are too many other obstacles in the way obstacles in the way of that. So this is likely to be more ways that are going ways that are going to come off of other ways to other the ways west, like to the west, Sankety like potentially Sankey Road, Road coming there in. There are wetlands issues. There are wetlands issues. issues private issues, property issues, issues. Utility all issues. All of that would be all of that would be evaluated and evaluated and assessed with and this. Assessed with this Study, I guess I would study. Call it. I guess I would call there it. Are water there are sewer water and sewer issues. I'm not issues. even talking, I'm not even yet talking about yet other about utilities, other yeah. utilities, yeah. electric and yeah. like whatever. Electric and whatever. I'm not considering, that, not considering that the not necessarily issue. the town's but, issue. But there is a there is there a, is a there is a, a bit of a timing a bit of a timing here. situation with here. Old, with, again, there's with a lot of moving parts again, there's here. a lot of moving parts here. It, with the SBPF project, with the SBPF if project, that if that gets ultimately and gets approved, off, and that's a ways off, for more than one reason, for more than one reason, um, um, you know, it, it's a lot of know, if it, this happens, a lot of if this happens, happens does this happen? If that happens, does this happen? Overall, we need a overall we need a long term plan, plan for mm -hmm. this road. Mm -hmm. There's some there's some internal discussion about internally about ultimately pays for ultimately all pays for all this can some of these costs be better yes can some of these better. costs can be better but there be better. are obligations but there are that obligations a that a municipality has, has to provide uh, yeah. public access uh, public to access people's to property. people's if property. there already was a if there already there. was a public road there anyway um, anyway um that's that that's the, there's that the other issues the, there's the other issues hopefully would, Weston and Sampson hopefully would Weston and Sampson would look at I think this is in there proposal. Proposal. things like would if we have things like if we have to actually, actually take property what might that look what like that look um, like that um, involves getting that appraisals involves getting and appraisals and that sort of thing Mm -hmm. That's what it is. Mr. Chairman, this is yeah, Mr. Chairman. This yeah, has been this has been asked for, asked for by the select for a while. So we've been for a while. So we've been pushing town administration for this type of information. For this type of information. If we even go, if we even go, SPPF, uh, SPPF um, is passed um, by Concom. Is passed by Concom. Yeah. Yeah. Wherever we have to go, we wherever we have to go, we need this information. Yeah. Whether it's denied or not. Whether, whether it's denied right. or not. And so that's right. why we've been. And so that's why we've been. But many board members have pushed for this. Board members and so you know like where it's coming so from. So you know like where sure, it's no, coming from. That. Sure, it's, no, it's I appreciate that. Sure, no, I appreciate that. It's a functional matter. It's a functional matter. Regardless of whether, regardless of whether, as you said, SPF goes through or not. Well, that's yep. good to know, too. That's good to know, too. So there is a potential that this number would blossom out. Or perhaps more it would become. Or perhaps more it would become. The Baxter Road category. The Baxter Road number would blossom out. The construction number and the yeah. actual like impl and implementation number, yeah. definitely. And that, that actually, now that I'm thinking about it, that should probably be a placeholder, some in and out year. Um, and I'm not even <coughs> sure what number to assign that to, but I'm going to just throw out, gonna probably, just throw between out five, probably between five and $10 million. Yeah. Well, I mean, I could see where it could be, certainly in that ballpark pretty easily. Unfortunately, okay. So we'll we'll add that in our out years. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Through through finance. Yes. Coastal resiliency plan. So as you probably know, we begun to pull together what needs to happen in order to develop a coastal resiliency plan, and there are a number of municipalities in the state doing this right now. DEP has established a program called the Municipal Vulnerability Program, the MVP program. And you can get a grant for that program. And one of the first things you do is you have to become MVP certified, which means you have to follow their outline of how public outreach is, is um, achieved and accomplished in your community. And they have sort of some parameters within, within which to do that. And we've already followed some of the, we've probably actually exceeded their parameters a little bit so far by having the public forums that we did already. Mm -hmm. But one of the things they require is a full day workshop with stakeholders, which we're planning right now for early January. And following that, that helps map out next steps. What, for example, what are the areas that we want to focus on initially? Where are the most vulnerable areas? What sorts of uh, resiliency actions should we do? Retreating or um, strengthening or leave in place and let what happens happens, that sort of thing. But I, I think that already between Baxter Road and Mattakit, those two areas have risen to the probably top of the priority list, but there are 
other actions happening as well in in the in the downtown area, for example, due to its proximity to the harbor and sea level rise and sorry, not climate change and all mm. that kind of thing, and awesome. how historic preservation gets maintained through the whatever you're going to end up doing to strengthen your downtown area, that kind of thing. So we don't really know how much we're going to need for this. This is a bit of a placeholder, too. We did get, um, through the efforts of Senator Sear and Representative Fernandes, they got us $200,000 in the state's economic bond bill that was issued over the summer for coastal resiliency issues. That probably will come with matching funds or in-kind services or something like that. We haven't even gotten into what's going to be required yet because we don't really have a project yet. So the idea here is that, as, as we say, it's a placeholder for whatever might come out of the plan. The plan itself is going to take some time to develop. We would hopefully, within the next six to 12 months on the outside, have a plan. It's gonna be a working document. It'll be put out there for public comment, all that. You will probably have different sessions with some of the different town boards. Um, but we didn't, we didn't know what number to put in here. But we did. We, we did. We put a number. Did we put a number in? Well, yeah. What? Well, okay. So, but besides the grant, yeah. Okay. Five fifty. Which is so that would be offset by a two hundred thousand dollar grant. Okay. So the that's the the grant, and and we'll know when the grant. When will we know that the grant is? The grant is available for us it is an earmark in the economic bond bill we just have to get it and 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 achieve what the state's requirements are going to be to get it which we have not ex fully understood yet but it's usually some amount of matching funds sometimes it's a 25 percent match sometimes it's some level of in-kind services there's always some regular reporting that's required usually have a regular meeting with your state contact so you can tell them what um where you, what your status is, how you're doing, that that kind of thing. So if we if we don't know, the reason I ask is just I'm looking. We at, will be getting a grant point. though. That is a. Oh, that is a, it's, it's, it's in the bill. It's in the bill. Nantucket gets two hundred thousand gotcha. dollars. Okay. It's just a matter of of um, physically getting our hands on it. Gotcha. Okay. You have to do some stuff to physically. It's, it's get been your hands assigned on. by law. <sighs> Correct. Okay, that's. I wasn't sure if I didn't understand that. So I know. That, sorry, I didn't explain that. Well. And I was just looking at relative to reports and whether we're, you know, for putting a footnote that this is to be determined or yep. it's assigned by law. Yeah, it's assigned by law. That's okay. a good way to put it. So I don't. Any questions or thoughts on that? We're just I, trying to get. I got to go back to it. work. I don't even want to open my mouth today because I'll keep this meeting going until two. <laughs> so just. <laughs> I would just suggest Same. broaden the base I've out. This is going to be a so huge far. expense for the community if it's it, and yeah. This might this might handle one project that's going to of many that are in the coastal resiliency plan. I mean, I could see you know you're looking at the historic preservation end of it, and by the way, it would be great if the HTC got invited as stakeholders at some point. Yep. I'm not they're, suggesting they aren't. I'm no, just, they're on our just, well, list for this workshop. Yep. Um, but the cost. To implement these plans in communities that have done them, I mean, it it runs into the hundreds of millions of dollars. Mm. So I just, I'm not, and I'm not suggesting we're not going into it with our wi eyes wide open. I'm just for general consumption is that yeah. you know there this is a this is a tremendous initiative, and I'm not saying it's not worthwhile. I'm just I just putting a scope, an order of magnitude to it. So this Agreed. is the beginning of the drops of the bucket. Yes. In the bucket. Is Malone McBroom coming back for more meetings? Yes. I haven't gone to one of these, and I kind of forgot the one that I was supposed to go to. Well, you can come to the one in January. Is there one in January? Mm -hmm. Does, are we have them under like a, a sort of a contract retainer? They're our contractor for, for the retainer. MVP program. Yeah. And for the um, hazard, yes. and for the hazard mitigation plan, which is under the planning commission's so, okay. purview right now. All right. Um. Okay, thank you. Okay, please. Public, Public meeting trailer. trailer. This and the next item, fire station reuse, are sort of connected. Yeah. 
you can just read what it says there about the public meeting trailer. But with the loss of, of you know, regular use of the training room, which, by the way, was planned from day one with the beginning with the public safety facility in the first place, mm -hmm. we are facing a lot of um, scrambling to find public meeting space. And we've been talking about some kind of a, you know, we've been talking about ways to address that. And what we've at least preliminarily come up with is a meeting trailer being located at the fire station at 131 Pleasant Street once fire is out. We are looking at options for the reuse of the fire station and we're talking about all kinds of options. And at minimum, we are currently, we have not brought this to the board yet, so I don't want to get too far ahead of myself, but one of the options that's looking efficient and cost effective is to move one or two town departments that aren't in good situations right now to this site that would necessitate a minimum of interior work and wouldn't necessarily trigger any codes, mm -hmm. at least while we're hopefully at some point figuring out yeah. what we're doing long term with municipal space. Mm -hmm. But in the meantime, this shortage of public meeting space is from time to time affects departmental operations. Mm -hmm. um, so our thought is to actually purchase the trailer, which is not cheap. It, what's the total? Uh, With site work and getting it here and setting it up. 450,000 is yeah. in. Yep. <laughs> that would, that would, that's based on the school's most recent experience with the trailer. And oh, our, okay. yeah, and the, um, well, the school trailer went to sewer. Hmm. Oh, the temporary uh, thing, the golf club? kitchen thing. Oh, my comment, right, right, yeah. right. There's similar two type trailers. of trailer to this. It would be similar type exactly. of trailer. Yeah. It, it would, with, with that okay. so, it has to be handicapped yeah. accessible. So, and, okay. no. Go ahead. No, I'm just think this is first I've heard of this idea, mm -hmm. but I can see how why you've thought of it or, or been working on this. Um, it if we buy it, will we have another use somewhere? Like yeah. say when two fairgrounds, if and when it happens. I mean, we would that, keep it. Yeah, because sure. it's going to be and, another use at yeah. some point. Yeah. Even if we don't know what it is yet. Well, I think yeah. we could yeah. identify two potential uses already. <clears throat> Potentially, if when we get our municipal space plan somehow funded up and running, yeah. somebody's going to have to move somewhere. Yes. At some point, so this could it could be used potentially yeah. for that. It might be able to be used for public works. Mm -hmm. And the that's what I'm sort of thinking. Out of town, and we the, could send and it the back to the school the because they. School. Yeah. In two years, wow. they're looking for space. That's a yeah. Can I just ask? Uh, yeah. I you know I understand this would be something that we implement in the spring, but um, just bear with me. The wastewater lab is that gaining? Is that got traction? Do you think that's gonna? Um, there are. Uh, I uh, let I, me let me because uh, I don't want to. We got. Yeah. I don't want to say. I don't want to get us off on a tangent okay. here. I'm going somewhere with this. Is do you think that that's going to fruition? And if you think it may come to fruition, do you think it's going to happen at the Wana Comet facility? Um, so if really it's it just ever you know. comes to fruition, and there are many, many unanswered questions, um, I want to comment has been identified as a potential site. Yes. Okay. So what I'm the reason I ask is because if you were going to say, oh, well, that's going to happen and it's going to be, you know, in January. Okay, great. Then I won't say what I'm going to say now. Which is uh, one of the one of the meeting spaces that was identified that could be converted over to uh, ADA accessible is the second floor of the Wana Comet and um, the old their garage space, and it's a really big space. And if it's something that could be done in the interim, I'm not suggesting this isn't a good idea or it's not workable because it has multiple uses after the fact, and we're always going to need space. But I'm just throwing out there that. And I don't know that they would accept it, but they did. I did meet meet with Mark when we were looking for a meeting we space. Walk. Did you? We brought SMRT through yeah. um, to get a back to the napkin type of assessment. It can't be easily converted to ADA. You need an elevator. It can't have a lift. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the bathroom needs to be changed. Um, so right there, it was probably cost prohibitive. But it, and and they're willing to do it. I mean, to partner with a water company, but it'd be more money than thirty five. 
so like 150 grand. More than that. Yeah. Yeah. For an elevator? Yeah. 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 Oh my God. This Elevator's is half a million. Yeah. Mm. Public elevator. Man. There was also an idea just to get a second key press with ADA. And yeah. Not okay. All right. Scratch. <laughs> I just, while it was, you know, here in front of us, I wanted to. It's a, big, it's a big space. It's a huge space. But we can't use it. So. Something else for it. No, no, no use. <clears throat> right. Okay. Thanks. So the public meeting trailer, I think we have a, a, a fairly good idea of that number, although we do need to get some documentation on it. And the fire station reuse, we have some ideas right now preliminarily for potential costs on what that would take to move departments in there, these couple of departments that we're mulling over. Um, but there, are, I know that there are a lot of other ideas, maybe longer term about that property, and they range from selling to yeah. housing to new municipal Lease. building there to, and there, the, so we're working on a, a pretty comprehensive um, a option sheet that has a lot of, you know, it's got columns, pros and cons, cost, obstacles, Sorry. things like that. There are there are a few obstacles that have to be taken into consideration, like the sewer force main yep. that runs through the middle of the property. No, um, your short term. If you're looking at this as a uh, interim between the meeting room and the central fire station reuse, what is your timeline in terms of the duration of use? If that were to come to fruition. It would start when and carry on for how long? I'm going to make a guess, and I'm going to say minimum five years. Okay. Minimum. So. Hopefully with, less, but I wouldn't want to say a lot. Right now. But I mean, a practical estimation yeah. is. So the other thing, and you, it may be on your list, is to supplement the parking space, and maybe even use, you know like the airport has a gate and that that area is in dire need of parking and i'm not suggesting it really would make sense to you can't put in a full-fledged parking lot and have it pay for itself in five years mm -hmm. but there may be some way to do parking there that would help generally alleviate parking in the area for the purpose of traffic safety and at the same time there might be some you know it might be a revenue it might be something where you work something out with a restaurant and the restaurant leases parking spaces and the town gets revenue we don't have to put in parking facilities other than we expand that parking area a little bit and just suggesting that may be a consideration maybe it isn't but it's in one of our options um but the area would have to be looked at in a little bit of a wider area because if, if that some, somehow becomes paid parking or even sort of leased to people are they going to park somewhere nearby that's free well, if you, I mean, I, I'm going to move with one comment and then I'm going to leave it because I'm not trying to, it's, if it were leased to restaurants that need it, mm -hmm. then it's up to them to put markings that say reserved for such and such, or maybe they park their staff there. So their staff get there before everyone. I don't know. I yeah. Mean, I, I know it's, it's not a simple thing is like, oh, let's snap our fingers and we're going to get money for parking. I'm not suggesting that it was just. If you hadn't been thinking about parking because there's a lot of other stuff going on, it's not like you have an extra five minutes for planning. Uh, I thought maybe I would just mention it while it was topical. No, it, it's well, good that you did. But Mr. We did. Chairman, you can come to the November 14th select board meeting. And we, yeah, you it's guys, on the agenda. You guys can be talking. You can about tell it. us all your thoughts about it. <laughs> but we just shared that. <laughs> no, there's more. You have more time. Uh, I think it's on the 14th. Th thank you, Jason. Libby. Um, e permitting. Greg's been a lot more involved with this than I have, but basically we need additional funds to actually complete this project, which arguably is a bigger issue than was initially thought of five years ago. I don't know if you want to add. I just, we were not an off the shelf HPC in our building environment, so it's a lot more development work than we thought. It's in a nutshell. And our thought was, if I may, would be that yeah, I thought that we discussed that when we met with IT. Uh, by the way, awesome job with the uh, governance plan for that. 
the uh, technology. I just want to mention, I think oh, that's good. Thank you. super, super. And I didn't get a chance to say it at the last meeting when we met with them. I'm sorry, but the, anyways, did we not speak about e-permitting in the context of IT? Or maybe we just touched on it at that we meeting. We probably did touch on it. Um, was there was some issue. issue. Okay, there. that was it. All right. So, um, but we I, have a quote yet. We now have a quote. Oh, okay. So we're just presenting it, but it's important it's for IT, otherwise it's for the town administration. Of the and when are we thinking the implementation period? Um, we, 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 the quote is for nine months. So it'll be completed within nine months of the start. Okay. It's 163,000. Seems pretty reasonable to me, especially for what we're going to get out of it in terms of usefulness. Okay. And then that is not on our planet sheet, or am I missing it? I've looked three times. Um, it, it's, no, there's a typo. No, so that again would be, it's, it's, I would be putting that in IT. Um, oh, because it's, yeah, it's, it's probably oh, different one, okay. okay. Work, um, gotcha. We go into IT so we're okay, we that makes perfect sense, yep. okay. All right. All right, uh, Libby, sorry. Okay, uh, strategic planning. This is another something of a placeholder. We're in the sort of early stages of starting to really get into planning to implement the board's strategic plan. And I think our initial uh, knowledge is that paid parking under the transportation initiative or transportation goal is something the board wants to get implemented within the next 12 to 18 months. And we are right now evaluating systems and trying to determine what uh, system is going to be best and there's going to continue to be public meetings and sessions on the system itself. But this would be basically to purchase it and, and implement it. What, what, was our, what was the number again? It's just a placeholder in case we want to implement something, but we don't know what it is yet. But, but our focus would likely be this paid parking system. I know you're dying no, to say something. It's, I'm thrilled. Okay, good. Everything's great. That, that counts as saying something. <laughs> <Thrilled>. <laughs> Lastly, the traffic <clears throat> modeling. This has come up a few times at select board sure meetings and elsewhere. <laughs> as to modeling areas of the island and, and how people get around. It's also come up through the data platform. And depending on the cost, that might actually be the group that does this. Yeah. Um, yeah. Is there anything you want to add? You can't trust them, uh, select members. Yeah. Yeah, I knew that without even asking. So my just a little bit on this. So. Uh, through the chair. Yes. Libby, this has come up at Planning Commission, as you probably already know, through all of these different, stemming from Richmond originally, mm -hmm. three different study uh, groups morphing into one video of a, of a showing a roundabout and showing cars, and all of a sudden it was morphed into we can sort of like fish, you know, kind of swimming around and we can sort of make it all different with this modeling. But again, on the Nantucket with our goofy intersections and shortcuts that we all do, it's hard to do. But I, I think this should be, you know, whatever the select board wants to do, but Mike is working on some of this mm -hmm. because of, we've been asked, to do it at that level and it's sort of a kind of a mixed bag together maybe there's a little bit of funding from some of the other resources that the planning commission has i don't even know half the delta and all these other things that we have i don't know but it, it, this is where we're at right now as far as the feelings and everybody's right now hot for this stuff you know just like we're hot for a brand new revisit of Ion Home, then it's going to be something else. This yeah. is why I don't get too crazy in my stuff anymore. I just let this all sort of, yep, next year will be this, 
You know, I mean, we're going to say no at the ballot box and start over with something else. I just don't get worried. I love this portable trailer, by the way, idea. Is this... Uh, That's good. Make that it David time. Gray build a foundation so it can get set on and make it exactly the same <laughs> so size. Get someone to do the <laughs> Remember that promise? So that was only a year ago we're talking about that. So just a question on the, on the modeling. It, reading this, I'm inferring that this is a... <clears throat> it will be modeling by data analysis to create a report. It's not a modeling solution, which is software that we're utilizing through transportation, through Mike Burns to be inputting and seeing where all the fish are going in the pretty picture, but that could be a very useful tool when, because, you know, I understand that discussion comes up where people are talking about, well, if we put an intersection here yes. and improve it, what, what is happens actually gonna, the next what's going to happen there, there you go. and can that's we do real-time modeling that's for it. Yeah. So that's what I'm trying but to, it's, is that's that, what this would be. That's what this is for. Yeah. And then it also expands out to include variables like biking and buses and that question that Steve just said is is basically the big, and that happens with, you know, just meetings that somebody in the public says it and it's on Facebook. It comes up a lot, and I just time. wanted to make sure we there really isn't really any even an answer. But if it, Mr. if if it is multimodal, you could and if you can't put in, okay, if. Um, single-use automobile rides go down by three percent, and bus rides go up by this. How does that affect things? Like, it's not just if we build this, if we improve this uh, roundabout, how's it going to affect others? It's definitely which is even more useful. Yeah, we build the, these sidewalks and we improve Main Street. There's more, but you know, it's it's a little more. If, if we were to do it, I'd want to see it with everything. Yeah, and is it, it so? Then th that kind of gets back to my original question: is so. For this to be a static, it needs to have some degree of mobilization. It needs to be a dynamic environment to some extent so that after discussions, the data inputs would change and then the results would change so that you're generating options and alternatives. Is that what you're anticipating? I'm just trying to get my arms around what this is. According to Chuck, that's exactly what it is. Okay. So it, it's it's not a it's a dynamic modeling tool. It's gonna end up being a better okay. technique that company better or somebody you know yeah. it's going to end up being a consultant that's already using their own data from all the other stuff i guarantee it i don't see any other unless there's some software program that we're going to buy on nantucket and then and then maybe i don't mean well i think it would it might would be, be a good idea i don't know it would certainly be a it wouldn't be a proprietary solution it would be mm. something that they have to i mean a lot of the about. stuff you know to just real quick and i know that i'm not supposed to talk but i'm going to say one more thing you know self imposed <clears throat> quaker road right as laughable as this is going to sound you know back 10 years ago you know millbrook was the big oh my god we don't want to fix it don't even grade it. And then we're going to pave it. Neighbors don't want anything. I cut through and all that, right? This has been going on for a long time. And all of a sudden, we're bringing it. It's coming back up now, almost in a new, whole new, well, why aren't we doing something about another way to get to Madigan? I'm laughing. And I'm like, wh where were all of these people 10 years ago? Like, we've already kind of said, forget it. You know what I mean? Because... Now there's speed bumps on Millbrook Road in all the bumps because it was getting graded too good. So you, honest to God, think that's ever going to... That's never going to happen. So we just have to... Some of this stuff is not going to have an answer by a software. No. It's it, just not. Yeah. But it's I mean, a, I'm but sorry. It's a, but it's a tool that we <laughs> can use to make better We used to have too big now. of a line letting your air out of your tires in yeah. all in it. Now there's nobody going to the beach. I mean, right. I don't know what to say. You know what I mean? But it's a tool that can be used, especially in, you know, the public brings I, up I, a concern and then it can be addressed. Well, we've looked at this and this, these are the results so that it's not just that, you know, you, you can know, give some credibility. Then you get into taxpayer money, developers should pay for it. I mean, it's just I, so many different things. We can't get, get into all that up. today. That part, I know, I'm just telling you. That's, that's the self-imposed part right there. Um, okay, so Libby, just the last question on the townwide. Uh, document management solution that is forgive me but 
I didn't see it in here. That I understand what it is, but this is for designing oh, a solution. It's, that's um, we must put in that in our narrative. But that is the continuation of a project that's already about to be underway. I mean, because the town doing that is going to be millions of dollars, correct? Yeah. Well, so this yeah. is a, well, this is a pilot. Well, we're doing a pilot right now. And this is a continuation of the and pilot? this will be a continuation of, hopefully the pilot will be successful and it will continue to another department. Right, and we're working with public, public health as a pilot right now with laser leash. And who would this be? Uh, this would hopefully be finishing public health if it's working um, and then uh, starting with natural resources. Okay. So if we could uh, code that, perhaps, that if I may ask. I missed it. Sorry. No, it, it's fine. Just so we're... You know, it's, we're not asking questions. That, we have a quote for just doing plus at 1.5 million. Yeah, I can. So if it works, that would be our LTA. Like, that's what we would be asking. Yeah. And the only thing I would suggest is if it works, hit the places that aren't climate controlled because those are the records that are going to, it's going to cost us so yeah. much more money to try and address later on. Public health right now. Yeah. And uh, the plus building is garage doors that open up in the summer and the humidity rolls in. So that's. It's just going to cost us more money to wait with that particular facility. Okay, thank you. Um, are there any other questions? Uh, you, we got two minutes to hit out yours. Do you want to just give us a, a 30 second on each of these? And then we can ask questions if we want. Okay. Mr. the chairman. I got it. I got to go. You got to go. Okay. I, it's okay. Is yeah, that okay? No. Yeah. Sorry. No, thank you for coming in. Um, what page is the out yours on? Oh, so Libby, I'm sorry. You've got two fairgrounds uh, with a uh, FY21 and the uh, Harbor Place Intermodal Transport Facility. Okay, so two fairgrounds just keeps getting moved out, and that would be the last time the board, select board discussed this in 2016 or 15. I can't even remember now. The thank you. The idea was that a new municipal building would be constructed at the two fairgrounds site. Mm -hmm. Um, but since then, board members have pretty much all changed, and we have not continued the discussion at this point because other priorities came up. So we're, we're moving it out not, so as not to lose track of it. The Harbor Place Intermodal Transportation Facility is sort of uh, a little bit of a similar situation. We've done a study to assess the cost of the Intermodal Transportation Facility. That's the cost of it, as was prepared about almost a year ago and we have not yet reached a total agreement on whether or not we're going to be um, pursuing this. We are in negotiations right now with the Harbor Place Owners Group as to what they might provide, what we might need to provide, what the costs of all of that are and we have not completed those discussions. Okay. Thoughts, comments, questions? No? Okay. So we'll, we'll, but we will be getting updates on that. You will. As an out year type thing. Yes. Okay. Good. Thank you. That's very helpful. All right. Well, we appreciate your coming in today. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate coming in today. No, that's very, very helpful. So are we meeting tomorrow? No. Okay. Oh, for tomorrow. So we should probably pick up our Wednesday next week. We can talk about separate, but just to get a, we need to the calibrate, I think, yeah. Okay. Well, Brian will be back Tuesday. Okay. So maybe right. I can add him and we can. Yeah, we just got a bunch to sort out. Right yeah. At this point. Okay. Let me, okay. let me. Um, All right. All right, so guys, uh, that would be it for the reviews. And we have your Rory's if you want to do them. If there's any questions, maybe to give there you. There was a uh, one thing on this big sheet. Yep. <clears throat> the coastal resilience plan was yep. a duplicate. Looks like e permitting was left off. So. For the Rory. Yeah. Yeah. So yep. just make note of that. So if you guys just want to know. The second coastal resiliency plan just replace it with e permitting. And uh, e-permitting was 100000 correct? Uh, e-permitting was, yes. Okay. So we're, uh, just for us, Peter, while you're looking that up, yep. there's no committee reports, I presume. 
uh, any good of the order? Are we still doing what we're supposed to be doing the right way? Do we need to make changes? We're still not done, so this is a good time if you got comments. Um, he probably was 200. 200? Thank with, you. With contingency. Okay. Uh, the date of our next meeting is not tomorrow, Friday, November 7th at Wanna Comment. So we'll be meeting on the uh, 8th, and we will be meeting, I believe we are meeting here. Yes, we'll be meeting here at 1030. And we did add the 9th. Uh, we have uh, many, a couple pages of outstanding um, requests related informations to review before we can do our rankings for our recommendation. So um, as I was just discussing with Libby, I'll meet with uh, Brian and her and try and get us calibrated. Because we November 9th we're meeting November 8th we're meeting and yep. then we're adding a the adding the ninth Friday. it hasn't been added yet in Outlook or anything yet right no okay okay yeah. That's Friday the ninth because uh, we're still uncertain who's going to be here and what okay. we're going to be doing okay. and uh, just along those lines what I'm doing is seeking complete information from department heads mm -hmm. and for each department before they come in so otherwise we're going to have DPW come in for one day and then have to come back and sewer come in for so unless you guys think that there's a different way to handle that i'm going to proceed with get your you know get complete information we'll review it we'll review with you in one sitting yep. proceed yeah. okay i just want to make sure i'm not i want to apologize for last week um Libby and i not making it i was the, the fourth of the quorum we were in executive session and i couldn't get out of it, it to get here so totally appreciate it it wasn't even to where i could even text you it was yeah, one of those meetings. Well, thanks for letting us know, and you know, you're juggling uh, some pretty serious responsibilities for the community. So, doing the best you can with it. You can't get out of an executive session meeting to come here. Um, is there any other questions or comments? If not, I get a motion to adjourn. So moved. Okay, thanks, guys. Thanks, Stephen. Thank you all. Thank you, Stephen. Thank you, finance department. Yes. Um,